let's see about link state routing so basically the thing is that i have already discussed here uh, uh, basically link state routing we will use the technique that is called as flooding flooding technique is the technique in which a router will send the packet to each and every other router that is present in that network it means that flooding is a technique that if a router a want to send some data packet to any other router then it will send it will do flooding flooding means it will send pay, data packet to all the present link here here if router b want to send the packet it will send it will flood the packets to all the networks so basically what will be the scene that any router will flood all the other routers will have data packets with them so it will be uh, data delivery will be surety 100% surety of data delivery that is called as uh, reliability it means that 100% data delivery will be there because they are flooding the packet to complete network so let's say if c network c want to send the packet so it will flood so if it will flood it means that the data packet will be the data packet will be flooded to all the present network so if the data packet will be flooded to all the present network then all the routers that is present on the network will receive that packet 100% delivery will be there but uh, traffic will be too much that is one of the disadvantage of link state routing but due to fast nature of link state routing it is used due to very much faster nature of uh, link state routing it is uh, used in real world also right right now also so if we want to make a routing table of a so basically here it would be like a routing table for a so here it would be like a and uh, uh, the router that is connected to b it will have entry of the routers which is having connected connection with it so b and d router b and d are having connection with it so a to b a to b is 2 and uh, a to d is 1 this is the path so this is routing table at a now similarly uh, the routing table at b will be having the structure like let's say it is b and routing table at b b is having connection with router a and b is having uh, connection at the routing c and b is also having connection at router d so b to a b to a is 2 b to c is uh, b to c is 3 and b to d b to d is 7 so this is routing table for b and routing table for c so routing table for C, it will have connection with router B and router D. So router B, B to C, C to B, C to B, that is 3 and C to D, that is 11. And router D will have routing table with it like this. In link state routing, uh, D is having connection with A, B and C. So A is having D to A, A to D1 a to b d to b that is 7 and d to c d to c that is 11 so this is the thing right this is the thing so the thing is that uh, thing is that uh, uh, this is the routing table right now present right now it is a routing table present uh, with the particular router using link state routing using what using link state routing now the thing is that if any particular router let's say router c want to send data to particular router b so it will flood it so it will flood in all the direction so it will flood like this so every other router will have the entry of it so in that condition if we are talking about the router a then router a will have routing table like a b c d and uh, a to a basically it is zero and if we talk about a to b then it will take the minimum one of a to b so using our intuition we are directly writing that a to b a to b will be 2 and a to c so a to c will be 2 and all the minimum a to b 2 plus 3 so is there any minimum of 2 plus 1 plus 11 or 2 plus 7 plus 11 no so 2 plus 3 is minimum so 5 and next stop will be b here here next stop will be b here next stop will be a and d to b and d to a to d a to d will be directly it would be one it is the minimum one and next stop will be d so basically router a will have this final routing table like this now in link state routing in link state routing this will be the picture why because if every uh, every other router will flood their packets so if every other router will flood their packets all the routing tables data will be presented each and every router so basically 
we can say that in a distant vector routing in distant vector routing every router was only having the local local database local data may base only the data of routers which is connected to it in neighborhood but here here each router is connected with all the all the other why indirectly why how we can say that because it is flooding flooding technique is used so we can say that here routers will have here routers will have global database here routers will have global database so if routers will have global database so why we can say they are having global database because flooding technique is used and due to flooding whatever packet is want to see want to send b but it will already be present with dna because flooding means that uh, packet will be presented to each and every other router in that particular network that is basically flooding right so route each and every router will have global database here now basically here we need to use single source shortest path algorithm single source shortest path algorithm i hope that in algorithm you have learned it which is called as dijkstra's algorithm correct uh, actually in dbr uh, flooding is not there right because in distant vector routing the routing table is only having the data which is which is of local local database here router a router a was having here infinity in distant vector routing if you can match it will have infinity and next stop will be blank correct but due to flooding in link state routing it will have complete database that is global database will be there right and every every router will have global database here so we can write a short note also here that uh, in link state routing every router every router will have every router will have global database will have global database right and uh, using and using single source shortest path algorithm normally dijkstra's algorithm uh, we can make the routing table for that we can make a routing table for that so you know that basically let's say a b c and d is here so if you want to make the routing table so if they are the destination and uh, let's say it is a uh, distance and uh, let's say it is a uh, uh, what we can say that let's say next stop right next stop so a to a so a to a let's say if we are making routing table for let's say a we have already done so let's try to make routing table for d so if we are making routing table for d then a to d so we can directly use single source shortest path a to d so a to d you can say only one is the minimum so we are going to put one and next hop will be one a to b so a to b d to d to b so d to b is like that seven but you know that in a single source shortest path right now d is not connected to b but you know that at particular after relaxation after relaxation after relaxation 100% the path will be 1 to 2 and then b so i am directly writing here 3 and next hop will be a here in this case because we are going to we are going to use path uh, router path via a and uh, d to c the shortest path would be like 1 plus 2 plus 3 i am just using my intuition but you know that uh, using dijkstra's algorithm first d to c will be connected via 11 then it will going to relax it with some other router and at the last we are going to get the minimum but directly here i am writing one plus two plus three that is six as a minimum and via router a we can say like this and d 2d that is d 2d will be zero and directly i am writing d so basically uh, this table we are going to get for router d using single source shortest path that is dijkstra's algorithm at the end so i am directly did here dijkstra's algorithm but you know how to play with dijkstra's algorithm every time we have to only write the connected node and every other node will be make as a infinity further if we got some somewhat laser path somewhat laser path then if we are going to get somewhat laser path then we are going to relax it with the next router which is going to give us the shortest path then that right so this is the strategy that we have to follow now using this using this if someone will say us to construct the 
single source shortest path of all other routers from router D. So we will say that from router D to router A, it would be one. From router D to router B, it is via router A. It is like that. And from router D to router C, it is via uh, A and B like this. This is our single short shortest path from this router and we can again conclude here what we can again conclude here is that from D to A from D to B that is this link will be uh, discarded and this link will be discarded they are not of use so we can remove this link and we can only use this link using the routing table of all the routers so normally flooding technique will be used here and it is very fast in nature flooding technique is very fast in nature because directly data packets will be sent to each and every other network without constructing any DVR algorithm so without delay in time we can send it directly so it is faster one advantage is that it is faster but one disadvantage is also there the disadvantage will be the disadvantage of uh, link state routing is traffic will be too much how we can say traffic will be too much because if if uh, uh, so much packets will be sended if flooding will be there it means that every router is sending packets here and there here and there it means that flooding will be there flooding means so much traffic packets packets and packets complete bandwidth will be of packets 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 that is why uh, that is why disadvantages it is having traffic but advantages it is faster so i hope that you got the idea of link state routing